Jaden is so lucky. He gets his own bedroom, and he's got a ton of cool toys and games to play with. You might not feel so lucky as him, but God is directing both your lives for his plan. Happy Sunday and welcome to Keys for Kids. I'm so glad that you're listening. My name is Zach. When I was growing up, my friend Stevie's family had a lot of money, so we always had all the game consoles and best games to go with them. I loved spending time at his house playing with him, and I even wanted his life instead of mine sometimes. But God put me in my family and Stevie in his because he knew what was best for each of us and so he could use us to work out his plan. I learned to be grateful for all the good things he's given me, just like James 1.17 talks about. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father. Our story for this Sunday is called, No Such Thing. Aiden is so lucky, Caleb told his dad after spending the night at a friend's house. He has a room all to himself, and you should see all the stuff he has in there. I'm glad you enjoyed it, said Dad. But now you need to do your chores. Okay, said Caleb. But can Aiden come over later? Sure, said Dad. When Aiden pedaled his bike up the driveway a couple hours later, Caleb and his dad were in the garage. Mr. Davis, did you know your horse jumped the fence and is in your neighbor's field? Asked Aiden. Not again, Caleb and his dad said at the same time. It didn't take too long to catch Dolly, who was very tame. She's a good horse. Caleb told Aiden when Dolly was back where she belonged. But she sure does like to jump that fence. That she does, said Dad. He grinned at the boys. Hey, would the two of you like to go fishing with me this afternoon? Your dad's welcome to join us too, Aiden. Yeah, said Caleb. Let's go ask your dad if he wants to come. Aiden shook his head. My dad's out of town right now. He has to travel a lot for his new job. You're so lucky to have a dad who can take you places, Caleb. You know, boys, said Caleb's dad, you both use the word lucky today, but there's no such thing as luck. We should be thankful to God for what we have instead of wishing for what others have. God's plan is so much better than what we think we need. Like Dolly, we sometimes think things are better on the other side of the fence. Yeah, Aiden grinned. I wouldn't trade my dad for anybody else. No offense, Mr. Davis. Caleb and his dad laughed. (laughs) I wouldn't trade either, said Caleb. Dad smiled. God has given us all so much. He gave us his own son, Jesus, so we could be his children. And he fills our lives with good things. Luck has nothing to do with it. Instead of wishing for what others have, let's thank him for the many blessings he gives us each day. So what about you? Do you think you're lucky? Think of all the special things in your life that you love and enjoy, including the people who care about you. You're not lucky to have them. You are blessed by God, who even gave His Son so you could live with Him forever as His child. God has a purpose for your life that has nothing to do with luck. So don't be jealous of what others have. Be thankful for all the blessings He's given you. Our key verse is James 1.17. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father. And our key thought for Sunday, God, not luck, directs lives. Hey, Zach. I'm going into first grade this year, and I'm nervous. Are there any Bible verses about being nervous? Hey, Caitlin. Yes, there are many Bible verses that talk about being anxious, which is the same as being nervous. My favorite one is Philippians 4, 6. You can also look up Matthew 6, 26 through 34, where Jesus encourages his disciples and us not to worry about anything, but to allow God to take control. Well, Caitlin, I hope this helps you be less nervous. Thanks for writing. I'm Zach with Keys for Kids. Keys for Kids.